Hey everybody, it's Nicola here and welcome back to some more Splatoon Turf War. Today I'm going to be using the NZAP85 as my weapon here, so let's just take a quick look at its stats. Um, it has the Splat Bomb as its sub-weapon and its special is the Echolocator. Now in terms of its range, it actually has the same range as the Tentatex Splatter Shot, which is, as I've said before, one of my more favourite weapons to use. Um, it also has a higher fire rate, so I would say this is kind of a hybrid between the Tentatex Splatter Shot and also something like the Aerospray RG, which is, has an extremely high fire rate. So this is kind of a, a medium of the two. Um, it also has another version, which is the NZAP89, and both of these are very good for turf war. As you can see, I haven't actually used them that much in battle, but I find them very good to pick up because I spent a lot of time with the Aerospray, like I said, and also the Tentatex Splatter Shot. So, Without further ado, I'm just going to hop into uh, the lobby here and we shall start our first match. Okay, so we're starting off here in Salt Spray Rig. The stage, I think I've said before, that I used to not really like, but it has actually grown upon me. Wow, we actually have three or two other people uh, using the NZAP85, so we're in good company here. Anyways, let's just head on over to this side and start the battle for this um, area down here. Like I've said before, this can often be a very popular spot for the team to try and get hold of early in the match and also fight for. You can see there's a lot of blue down here, but I think it was just someone firing for the top rather than someone trying to take over my area, which I've now claimed quite successfully. Anyways, I've just used my special, which actually highlights where the other team is by showing the little circles there. So this is actually pretty helpful for Turf War. It's more helpful, I guess, in the other modes, but it definitely has its uses here. It allows you to sneak up on enemies without them knowing that you're actually there. Um, unfortunately, now we've just been echolocated, I'm assuming by the other NZAP85 that I saw. Whoa, I'm booming back out of this one. <laughs> Anyways, ooh, we have a sniper as well, which is interesting. They're, they're really trying to get me. Anyways, uh, looks like my team's taking care of them, maybe, or not. I think they just got wrecked, actually. Let's try from this angle. There's a lot of bombing going on, actually. I think they're doing quite a good job of cornering us. So let me just kind of gradually move forward a little bit. I'm going to set off a bomb if I can. There we go. Set up another one. Try and defend myself as best I can here. Although again, they're doing a really good job with these bombs. Someone's obviously got a special up uh, that's meant that they can do a bunch of uh, suction bombs here, but hopefully we can get through it. Although it seems my team's dying quite a lot. I'm just gonna get in there and hope I... nope. <laughs> I was trying to be all just super aggressive and try and get a kill, but never mind. I think I'm gonna head back around over this way. There's someone trying to claim the turf here. I can see them. I'll just chuck a bomb down there. I'll just pressure them. Because I don't think, like their weapon, I think they're using the Octoshot replica, which is the alternate version of the... Dude, I'll just get you from up here, man. <laughs> <laughs> the alternative version of the Tentatex Splatter Shot, so I know that weapon quite well. Uh, we have the same range, of course, me having the higher ground, I think, gave me the advantage there for sure. Anyways, oh man, I think they've come back to try and reclaim, but I've managed to avoid all their shots actually, which is quite cool. It's not looking good for our team though. Absolutely not. Uh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> told you! I told you I was gonna get you! Oh well, looks like we lost, we lost that match, but that's okay. Someone tried to bomb me at the end there, it's not very nice. But they were a really strong team, they were really defending the middle section quite hard, which is really how you win at this stage, you take control of the middle, which could be said for most stages, however this one especially can be quite tough. Anyway, that was the best on my team, so can't have played that bad, but anyways, let's hop into another match right here. I'll just cut ahead and hopefully we'll win this next one. 
Alright, we're in the other stage that's available right now, which is Black Belly Skate Park. Similar to Salt Spray Rig, and similar, I think I've said this before, but one of the stages I used to really not like, but now it's certainly grown on me for sure. So let's just start off by covering the back of the stage, as I often do, and we'll take care of this part up here, which a lot of people tend to forget this little section up here. So I'll be happy to fill it in. Unfortunately, we are the orange team as opposed to the turquoise team, but that's okay. Um, just so happens that I like all these blue colours, like I've said before. Um, however, I'm sure I'll cope with being the orange team. I'm gonna throw a bomb up there because I think that paintbrush might be trying to climb. I'm not sure. We do have another teammate there, so I'm gonna leave them to it. That's the thing, is you have to try and trust your teammates. You can't be everywhere all at once, for sure. Anyway, set off my echo locator. Hopefully that'll help the team. It's actually a really good special to have because it is very useful. Um, you can have the shirt, which has the ability cold-blooded, which reduces how long these effects stay active. Um, so if someone on the opposite team has that, that can kind of throw a spanner in the works, but you still, they're not immune to it, is the important thing to remember. Um, it actually just shortens the time. So I'm just kind of throwing bombs and stuff. It's a bit of a tricky situation, because we're kind of leading, but they are defending very strong. So I'm going to try and hop up on here and maybe travel to the other side. There's actually some ground over here that we haven't covered at all. I think someone just let off an ink strike there. Now let me roll a bomb, see if I can stop them from coming forward. That'd be good. Or kill them. That'd be even better. Oh, they're all on this side. I'm going to retreat a little bit. Do some bombs this way as opposed to... Oh, there's a slosher! I got the slosher! Come on, come on, come on! The shield! Ah. I was kind of praying that their shield would run out, but unfortunately it didn't work out that way. At least I got one of them. I got the person who had a slosher. Which is another weapon that is fairly new. I haven't used yet here on the videos, but um, let me try and sneak up here and get this guy. Nope! Nope! Oh, gosh darn it. They actually played that really well, dodged really well. They're making a massive comeback actually, the blue team. So I'm gonna try and maybe sneak around the back here and... Oh, hello. Throw a bomb, try and help you out, friend. Oh dear, that's the worst thing. Literally the worst thing that could have happened right there. Literally the worst. Did I get anyone? Mm, yes, got them, okay. The paintbrush is... Ah. Oh. Dang it. That jewel squelcher, man. They've got me like a bunch. Okay, all of their team's dead, so maybe we can pull it back. I'm gonna try and cover this stuff that's close to home and pray that... Yep, we're in the lead. Yes, I think we won that. I died way too many times, I feel, but that was a very good player. The jewel squelcher player. So yeah, it looks like we won. That was quite a fun match. So you gotta colour that little bit behind, you know, blue team. Learn from your mistakes, blue team. Alright, cool. I was the worst on my team, but that's okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, let's head into one more battle. Might do another one after that, see what happens. Okay, we're back in Salt Spray Rig. We're still orange, however, we are a darker orange and we are facing a darker blue this time round. See, they've got a couple rollers and a... I think that was a splatter shot pro? The long range weapon. Um, so this could be interesting, could be a little bit dangerous. Um, I'll do my best just to cover our base first of all I think because it looks like they're, they've are they gone straight for the middle actually. Maybe I can get them from up here, that would be really funny. Nah, I missed them. Oh well, that's fine. I'm just gonna throw a bomb. Because I know they're down there. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, oh, they got away, but that's alright. I forced them out, and that's good enough for me. Um, someone's setting off an ink strike. That's fine. I'll just go over here and cover it while I'm on this side. Looks like someone tried to get through here. I'm not sure if they were successful or not. Oh, I've got an echo locator sitting here that I should have really used sooner. It's the kind of thing that you want to use like as soon as you get it because you don't know what kind of position your other teammates are in. It could be extremely helpful to them. Looks 
like they're all up in this middle section here, so I'm just going to throw some bombs and hope that it helps my team out a little bit. I don't have any bomb distance up upgrades right now, so I can't throw them very far, but hopefully that maybe did something. Um, just fill in this path here again. I might try and sneak around this side, depending on how bad it is up here. Anyone? Just throw in a random bomb for good luck, see if I can get this person. Nope. Got you with my main weapon though. <laughs> That's a very good tactic actually, to hide around the back of these inflatable things. Um, really good job there. I'm just gonna be a real troll and throw that. <laughs> and then throw one down there so when they jump down they die. Almost. <laughs> I'm gonna get you again. <laughs> Uh, such a troll thing to do is like wait for them to come out of their base, but you know it works, man. Get over here. Ah, uh, didn't quite get them. What weapon was that? That was the splatter shot pro. Okay, fair enough. It has a higher power, higher fire rate. But we're running by quite a lot. Someone's actually trying to take over the southern part here, so I'm just gonna try and stop them from doing that. Although this is kind of like a battle that's never going to really end because there's not much we can do, unfortunately. Are they hiding behind this? <laughs> Almost got you. I'm going to get you, you know, because you can't move once you're in the air with the dynamo. Like, it's really bad. Dude, I can play at this all day. <laughs> this is so funny. Yep, I'm just going to waste the rest of my time. Yay, got him! <laughs> Take that! <laughs> Alright, well that was a reasonably easy battle for me. I think my teammates did quite a lot of work for that one. So we won! Nice. I'm actually leveling up a piece of gear because I actually um, expanded uh, slots with from Spike. I got another slot on the end there. Oh, just short. Alright, well we're doing one more battle so I guess I'll finish the upgrade of this hat in the next one. So BRB. Okay, nice even, dis even distribution of the stages here. We're back in Black Belly Skate Park, which is pretty cool. Oh goodness, we're facing a couple of 96 gal decos there, which is scary because they are super long range. I've actually started using that weapon more myself for a during Rainmaker mode, which is a mode that, if you've watched my um, Ranked Battles series, I've said I struggle with it a bit, so it was nice for me to finally find a weapon that I felt reasonably comfortable with um, actually using it, so that's quite fun. Just gonna throw a bomb for good measure here and finish off this area. Set off my echolocator, help out the team. It feels really good to have like a weapon that um, actually helps out the entire team, like actively. Oh, this blaster is gonna try and get revenge. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Bomb deaths are like the most satisfying, seriously, like they're amazing. Speaking of bomb deaths, hopefully I can get another one here. If my ink would fill up, that'd be great. Did I chase them off? Maybe. Like I said, these long range weapons are pretty scary. I'm kind of playing it a little bit safe here. I'm just gonna go back to our base and kind of fill in the gaps because we didn't do a super good job of covering all this up before. I'm happy to just go and fill in the blanks. Another echolocator up. Let's go to the top here and just throw bombs down. I think that's a good idea. Oh yeah, nice ink strike. Well done team. I can see you down there. Someone else got them. Well done fellow teammate. I don't know where you are, but um, well done. Again, I think I'm just going to throw bombs from up here to be a troll and uh, <laughs> try and stop them from going forward. That would be funny. You better move, bud. Yeah, just avoided it, huh? Uh oh, looks like someone's trying to get through here. It's a blaster. I'm scared. That's a killer whale. <laughs> I will now move. Very sharp. <laughs> Very sharply. Out the way. 
Right, we're coming into the last 45 seconds of the match. Oh, someone up there. I can throw a bomb your way, friend. Like, you should watch out. Uh oh, the blaster's back. Oh, nice, a shield. I don't need a shield. Maha! Thanks for distracting him for me, buddy. That was really good. Alright, I'm just gonna be all reckless and, like, go into their base with my fellow teammate here. We're in the last 20 seconds. Just throw some bombs and stuff. Always fun. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping I'd get a last minute bomb death. Maybe I will. That's our ambition for the end of this video is to get a last minute bomb death. Go, go, go. Yes, we did it. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> All right, well, we won three or four matches there. It's pretty good, it's pretty fun matches as well. So this was the NZAP85 slash 86 because they're quite similar, both good for turf war, like I said. Um, I actually find it quite fun to use this weapon, like I said, kind of being the hybrid between the tent attack and the aerospray. Come on, ink saver up. Oh, yes, ink recovery up. I, sh I said the wrong one, so it was kind of bad that I actually got that, but good to get a double roll on my hat here. Um, so yeah, that's turned out pretty good. Also, even though I didn't get three ink recovery up, it was a special charge up, which is really helpful. Um, yeah, actually, one thing before we end off here is you may have noticed I was wearing um, the Squid Force tee that has Ninja Squid, and the reason for that was actually I was using some attack power ups, which is something that I don't normally do. Um, you may have noticed that. But the reason I was doing that was to help with the whole if someone has three defense, it can affect how many kill shots to kill. Um, one of the weapons affected is this one, the end zap. So usually it takes four hits to kill anything that has up to uh, two defenses, but it'll take actually one more hit to kill something with three. But because I have two attack ups, this also actually takes four hits instead of five. Whereas if I had another, if I didn't have any attack power ups, um, it would take me that one more hit and usually I don't pay attention to this kind of stuff but I figured I'd change it up a little bit just while I was using a new weapon so yeah that's why I'm wearing this super cool t-shirt but anyways um, yeah that's it for today next time I'll try and use another weapon I'm maybe thinking like the Splattershot Pro or something like that would be kind of cool but I'll decide at the time and depending on what courses are there and stuff so thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next video